I love it. Love to see it. I want to see more of it. I am totally a fan of this. But here it is, folks. Fox News going woke. He was the former managing editor of Tucker Carlson's show. And he features uh, prominently in a toxic work environment lawsuit that is currently ongoing by a former colleague, Tucker Carlson's booker. That person, okay, that person is now fired because Fox has gone woke. Why were they fired? Because they put this fucking Chiron up. Wannabe dictator speaks at the White House after having his political rival arrested. Now, do I think that that is valid? Absolutely not. I think it's fucking bullshit that they fired this guy, okay? Because you hired him to write Chirons like that, and the editorial team attached the, the, the talking heads on top of that Chiron that are speaking are saying those words. So why are you fucking firing the guy for writing a Chiron that verbatim quotes like Sean Hannity or Laura Ingram or any number of these other like Fox News, uh, Fox News editorial team talking heads? Turns out former Fox News producer Alexander McCaskill, who parted ways with the network for airing the wannabe dictator Chiron, uh, posted this photo of him leaving the Fox offices on his Instagram. McCaskill was also a longtime producer and editor for Tucker Carlson. Today was my last day at Fox. It's been a wild 10 years, and it was the best place I've ever worked because of the great people I met. But the times has come, and I asked them to let me go. And they finally did. To all my friends there, I will miss you forever. So he's the one who literally fucking, he's the one who asked to leave. Yeah. He probably wanted to leave because of the workplace harassment thing going on because the workplace had made it uh, Fox News executives probably did not like still uh, employing him as the active lawsuit is ongoing. So then uh, he wanted to go out with a secret huzzah, one last big huzzah. OK, that's it. And he did that. He he fucking made that Chiron. And then he was like, I want to be I want to leave. Loud quitting. Yeah, that's what millennials are doing, folks. Not quiet quitting, but loud quitting instead. 